it from here to the front door. That's what I'm here for. Right, just let me get set in. Okay. All right. I'm dying to get inside my own house to give Mama a cutch. Oh, out you come. Honestly, everyone's been great. But the time it took to do the paperwork, I thought they were never going to discharge us. No, <laughs> we're getting stuck behind that tractor didn't help. <laughs> Exactly stuck, Tom. No, all right. There were at least three times you could have easily overtaken. With these two in the back, I was terrified to go above 30. <laughs> Righty ho. You sure I can't carry one of them? I'm sure. It's just like lifting dumbbells. Uh, see? <laughs> if you say so. But come on then. Oh, hang on. What now? Door key. Is this in my pocket? Tom. Guys, one sec. Oh, no, 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 Nova. Don't wake up. It's okay, Cariat. Your daddy's not always like this. Oh, at least I thought they were here. <laughs> this is stupid. What have I done with them? Christo Adra. Welcome home. Oh, Mum. What are you lot doing hanging around out there? Come on in. Oh, why me? Can't you see I'm busy? Because you're the best person for the job. He's about your age, maybe a year younger. Oh. And just like you when you started, he's never worked in a restaurant before. Oh, great. So he's going to be useless then? Well, that depends on you. I want you to teach him everything you've learned these last few weeks. Well, can't one of the others do it? They're all much more patient. No, Chelsea. I've asked you. But... Hey, Freddie. Oh, hi, Russ. How's it going? Fine. Excuse me? Just having a break from the gallery. Excuse me? I'll get your flat white in a sec. I was just talking to Freddie. Oh. And I've told you my decision's final. You never know, you might have some things in common. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll go and fetch him now. Oh, Freddie, been meaning to ask. The 90s night you're DJing. Do we need tickets? Why? Are you going to come? I thought I might try to persuade Lily. It is my era, after all. Uh, sure. Well, I can put a couple of tickets aside. Oh, that would be great. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Chelsea, could you make Russie's coffee now, please? I'm doing it. <clears throat> you had a good time at the rave, didn't you? What? The 90s anthems, I mean. Seem to remember you enjoying them, with your face tattoos. Oh. Not that I was entirely compass mentis by the end of the evening. No. Well... Were you in yesterday? Elizabeth said it was our busiest day of the year so far. I suppose now that the schools have broken up... How should I know? I weren't here, was I? Well, that's why I asked. Just trying to make conversation. <laughs> Sorry. I went here. It was my mum's birthday, so we took her out for a picnic. Oh, really? Anywhere nice? Just up on Lakey Hill. She liked it, though. Me and Brad clubbed together and bought her a spa voucher. Mm, very decadent. <laughs> yeah. And the cricket team, they bought her a crate of lager. Oh. Guess they know what she likes. Well, sounds like you had a lovely day. <sighs> she deserves it, after everything with her job. Indeed. Mm, there's your coffee. Thanks. So... You don't remember much about the rave, then? Here he is. What? Chelsea, meet your new trainee. Uh, no. You're winding me up, ain't you? This is some kind of joke. Well, I did say you might have some things in common. I says. Surprise. Just look at them. Adorable. Hmm. Tom thinks Sarah looks more like an archer. With that shock of red hair? Ah, oh, they both look like Thomases to me. Still doesn't feel quite real. I was so focused on the caesarean. Of course. Now they're here, I can't believe it. Oh, we're so lucky. Rubbish, you did all the hard work. True. What did they say about your blood sugar? It's back to normal. Really? I've got to go and have it checked again in a few weeks. Just to make sure. But they don't think you're going to be diabetic? Hopefully not. Oh, that's wonderful news. I've been worrying. Me too. Are you in much pain? 
To be honest, I'm not that bad at the moment. It's time for you to have your painkillers. Tom. You heard what the midwife said. You need to keep on top of it. No, I know, but... It's true. No point hanging on it till you bent double. Yeah, I'll go fetch a glass of water. No, no, love. I'll do it. You sit yourself down. Would you like something to eat, Tash? Um... No, I, I'm not hungry. I brought Welsh cakes. You made them? Well, I'm not going to buy them from a shop, am I? And I thought I'd do your favourite for tea shepherd's pie. Oh. Well, you don't have to, Caitlin. There are meals in the freezer ready to go. We'll save them for another time. Go on, sit. Now, are you comfy? Um... I'll fetch the big maternity cushion from upstairs. Oh, actually, Mum brought her V-pillow with her. Oh. Yeah, let me grab it. It's done years of service, this has, ever since you were kids. Lean forward. Oh, can you manage? <laughs> yeah. You sure? Yeah, I can do it. How's that? Better? Oh, ma'am. Don't you look a picture. Actually, that's a thought. Let me take a quick photo to send you Dad. But I haven't got any makeup on. You look gorgeous. But quick, before they start bawling. Tom, squidge in a bit. Uh, oh. <laughs> sure. OK. That's it. Oh. The proud parents and their two dirty angels. Oh, Perfect. Now smile. What? You jumped the fence. You don't have to seem so surprised. It wasn't the enormous barricade they have now. The girls went through a hole underneath and the boys climbed over the top. What year was this? My first Glasto was 97. I saw the Blue Tones headlining it Sunday night. Now, who else did I see that year? Radiohead, of course. Long Pigs, Supergrass, Ocean Colour Scene. Wow. Yeah, I'm playing most of them this Friday. I should think so too. They're fantastic bands. Hey, Russ, I don't suppose you could have a look at my playlist. Just make sure I haven't missed any obvious tracks. Absolutely. I'd love to. Freddy. Don't be warned, though. I will try to slip in all my favourites. I'll be my guest. Freddy. Yes, what is it, Chelsea? I'll catch you later. Yeah. You have to get someone else to train Brad. I can't do it. He's driving me insane. Now... Listen. Why didn't you ask before giving him a job? I just tried to get him to take a customer's order and he looked like you were going to throw up. To begin with, who we employ isn't your decision. No, I know. And secondly... But I could have told you he'd be rubbish. And secondly, I didn't interview him. It was Trent. He said he did really well. Look at him, Bo. He can't even tuck in his shirt properly. It's all shoved in round his belt. It's not his fault he's so skinny. He's going to give the orangery a bad rep. Is that what you want? Chelsea. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Come on. It's not like you were the finished article when you started. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, snapping at customers? That happened once. And we won't mention how you wore your uniform. <gasps> Look, I get siblings can be annoying. Believe me, I really do. But we gave you a shot. Don't you think your brother deserves one too? Do you think she needs changing? I don't know. You've got her. I'm feeding Sarah in. All right, all right. Well, you better check. Hang on. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What's all this fuss about? Oh, it's not a nappy. Well, she can't possibly still be hungry. I expect she just needs burping. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Have you got her high enough on your shoulder? That's it. Now, pat her up and down. Yeah, I know. No, you can do it a bit harder. She won't break. Why won't she stop? What's the matter with her? Things the matter, it's what babies do. She could be tired or have a bit of wind, or it might be because she's somewhere new. Tom, let Mum have a go. No, I can manage. Honestly, love, you were always bawling about something or other. Hey, 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 Nova, what about uh, Daddy pulls some silly faces? <laughs> what do you think? Is that funny? <laughs> no. Tom, please, is this doing my head? And just give it to Mum. <laughs> So, if you can't see what you want on the front of the till, just press mains, and that will take you back to the menu. Sure. Then, to return to the home screen... Hit the back button. Got it. Have you? Yes. And remember to enter the table number. I know. Because if you don't, Brad, it screws everyone. You already said that. It ain't difficult. Fine. I'll leave you to serve the next customer, then. What? Although it does help if you actually talk to them. But wait! You're meant to be training me. I have. I've shown you how to work the till. But... What do you want? Spoon feeding. You didn't even tell me you were applying for the job. No, I know. If you can't pick it up fast enough. I only didn't tell you because I knew what you'd say. Yeah, exactly. So don't act surprised I ain't buzzing about it. I never asked you to work here. 
Hey, Horribins. How are you getting on? <laughs> yeah, great. Just showing him the ropes behind the counter. Oh, good. So she's teaching you all right, then? Um, well... Well, that's what big sisters are for, isn't it? Teaching their little brother lessons. Yeah, definitely. See? I said you'd be the right person for the job. Keep up the good work. Sure thing. What was that? Um, well, what were I meant to say? Oh, you listen to me, Brad. You best not show me up. I've worked really hard to get people's respect around here. Have you? Yeah. Oh, shut up, of course I have. Just because you're my brother don't mean you get special favours. I never expected to. In fact, when we're here, we ain't related. You what? So don't go telling anyone. As long as we're working together, we're just colleagues. All right? Ni chaeftim am haris gantin Ni wna i'n dyn a thigam Hi'n am dawel a'n wyl blentyn Hi'n am fwy na'r fron dy fam Roy's message, he sends his congratulations Shh, don't want me to wake them Oh, sorry, sorry we're singing an old lullaby. Well done, you remembered it. <laughs> Most of it. I'm thinking, though, now they're both finally sleeping, if you wanted to take a nap. Oh, that's OK. They're happy here, aren't we, Mum? Oh, yes. I'm enjoying a cutch with Seren. And Nova's settled with me. OK. Well, is there anything you need? You're not due any painkillers. No, I know. How about another drink? I'm fine, Mum. Mm -hmm. Drink? No, no. Thanks, Tom, love. Don't worry about me. And you sure you're comfortable. I can easily fetch down the big cushion. Oh, Tom. It's what we bought it for. Honestly. Why don't you come sit down with us? We can teach you the lullaby if you like. Uh, it's called Sea Organ. Oh, I'm not much of a singer. Anyway, I thought I might put an announcement on the website. Let the world know our good news. Sure. As long as you're certain you don't mind. No, go ahead. Want to try the next verse? Um, remind me how it starts. Hina dawel hen o hina, hina nvuina tulu seilin. I'll leave you all to it. Amruitin naur an gweni, gweni ndirion an dahin. I'm not joking. By the time your mother comes back, she may well be speaking Hungarian. <laughs> so she's having a nice time, then? Oh, she's in her element, bustling around the kitchen, cooking up meals. Because Debbie's busy with the harvest, so it's great for her. I bet. And the weather's been perfect, too. So why didn't you stay out there? I'm sure yeah. Mum wanted you to. Well, this is the most crucial time of the year. Seeing Debbie head off every morning... Well, Debbie doesn't have angina. No, true, but she understood. I'd have found it far more stressful being in Hungary, wondering how things were going on here. <sighs> Speaking of which, what have I missed while I was away? Well, Adam almost killed Jean Harvey. I beg your pardon? Well, no, not really. She was trying their pizza and Adam was supposed to have pitted all the olives. She got a stone stuck in her throat. Oh, um... oh no, she was fine. He even gave her a slap on the back. You can imagine the fuss, though. Indeed. Well, I can't think of any other gossip. <sighs> No, what I really meant was, has there been any news about the divorce? Oh. Anything from Chris's solicitor? Actually, yes. Right. I am denied about calling you. Well, what is it, Alice? Well, don't worry, you'll be happy. Chris has decided to go with your suggestion and settled for one of the holiday cottages. <sighs> really? What? That's it? He doesn't want anything else? I have to agree to drop any financial claims against him. Of course. Of course. But he's not going after a slice of the farm. No. Now it's just up to the lawyers to make it official. Oh, Alice, that's wonderful news. Chris finally came to his senses, did he? Oh, I can't tell you what a relief that is. Oh, Chris, you're here. Huh? We said six o'clock. Yeah, I know, I know. Christopher? Brian? Hey, sweetie. Look who's here. <laughs> oh. You'll be telling me they're being done for murder next. It's not funny, Eddie. No. 
First it was Jim saying he'd heard Jean had turned blue. Then Hilary claimed she'd had to have the kiss of life. Like anyone's that brave. <laughs> well, you know, Emma says they've been talking the tea room about having to use the defibrillator on her. I know. Actually, I could believe that more. And now some folk are saying Adam and Ian put an unpitied olive on her pizza deliberately. As if they would. It were Ian who rushed over to her. Ah, best way to divert suspicion. Eddie, would you take this seriously? Deliberate or not, people are saying the pizzas aren't safe. Adam's beside himself, isn't he, Clara? He feels dreadful. All they wanted was to launch the van at the fate, and now they're scared stiff people aren't going to touch their pizzas with a barge pole. Well, I still reckon it's a load of old pig swill. Soon as the punters get a whiff, they'll be queuing across the green. Right, now I'm going to go and change out my work dogs. Yes, all right. Yeah, mind if I nip down the pub after supper? No, oh, no, I'm just going to do some knitting. Grand. What, you knitting? Another pink baby card, eh? No. I spoke to Pat and she said Natasha and Tom are against gender stereotypes. Oh, really? So it don't matter I knitted a blue one. Nova or Saren will wear it anyhow. Oh, well, that's strange, because Pat said they couldn't believe their eyes when they unwrapped the two pink hats I'd made. <laughs> Something in my waters just told me they were having girls. Oh, don't see how. They were told it were one of each. Must be a gift. I can just sense these things. It's why I know Ian's right about Jean spreading that rumour herself. Susan. Her and her snooty friends in the WI catering team. They never wanted the pizza van at the fete. Even so, I don't reckon Jean would go that far. I know you don't like her much, but mm. we get on OK. I bet she thinks these rumours are as much a load of claptrap as we do. <laughs> really? Because that's the only way they're going to stop. If it comes from the horse's mouth. True. In fact. What? Well, like you say, you get on OK. Maybe you and Jean should have a little chat. Of course we were disappointed when he informed us he wasn't coming. But then again, I mean, if it's a choice between summer in Ambridge or yachting round Antigua, <laughs> you can hardly blame him, can you? I guess not. It's hard to believe, isn't it, Alice? What's that? The circles Rory's moving in these days. It is indeed. Martha! No, uh, not inside. Oh, honestly, now that she's starting to walk. Excuse me. No, no. You look well. The holiday did you good? Yes, yeah, very much so. Yeah, I even managed to shed a few pounds. Oh, great. Well, it should keep my doctor happy, at least. Because I do honestly think it was a one-off. I've, I've not been so much as short of breath since. Well, still, you've got to be careful, I guess. Well, it put things in perspective, I'll give you that. It's kind of like when Martha had her accident. Hmm? It, it was horrible, sitting in A&E, worried sick how badly she might have been hurt. I'm sure. And I remember looking at Alice on the way home and thinking, what have we been doing? Arguing about... Who gets what and how much? And I know she was thinking the same. It's not what's important. No. Not compared to our little girl. She is all that matters. Look, I want to thank you, Chris. What for? Well, being so decent about the divorce. That's, I mean, that's what Alice and I were talking about when you rolled up. Yeah, I figured. Sorry if it sounded like... No, I'm... no, no. I mean, obviously, I'm relieved. As you were entitled to push for a lot more. Well, like I say, it's not worth it. Even so, even so, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry things got so nasty. I said and did some things I really shouldn't have. Brian... Wasn't called for. I said stuff too. Let's just forget it, eh? <laughs> what matters is that we can both support Martha. Well, now you're moving into one of the cottages, she'll still effectively be living on the farm. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to rent it out. Oh. It's a lovely place, but I need to feel I've moved on. I hope that makes sense. Of course. You don't have to explain. It'll be your house. Well, yeah. Good. Can we shake on it? Sure. You're a good man, Christopher. I'll be sorry not to be able to call you my son-in-law anymore. The Echo? Are you sure? I'm telling you, 
Susan. I asked Jean if I could come in for a quick word, just like you told me to. And? And she said, no, I couldn't. She'd got a reporter over. From the Echo? Yes. Well, you know what this means. It is Jean who's spreading the rumours. Well, what are we going to do? It's one thing rumours going round the village, but... If it's going to be in the Echo, that would be enough to sink their business before it's even started. Do you really think so? Well, it's cancel culture, isn't it? You make one tiny mistake and that's it. You're cast into outer darkness. It'll be all over social media. But I still don't see what we can do. Not if the Echo's got it. Well, the only way they ain't going to print it is if we persuaded them not to. And how are we going to do that? Oh, I don't know, Clary. I suppose Jean could ask them not to. But then why on earth would she do that? She'd have to have a massive change of heart. Sorry? Say that again. Say what? About Jean. Well, she'd have to ask them not to print the story. And she ain't never going to do that, is she? What, really? Mm. The echo's over at Adam and Ian's now. Yeah, I've no idea how they heard about it. So, so what do they want to know? Well, don't ask me. I left them to it. Beggars believe sometimes how these things get started. Yeah, well, you, you know what it's like when the Ambridge grapevine gets going. Oh, they do indeed. That's why I thought I'd come in for a drink instead. Looks as though the harvest's winding up for the day. Yeah, place is starting to fill up. Will Ed be along, do you know? Oh, I should hope so. <laughs> Amount of hours your manager's got him doing. He can buy me my next point. <laughs> uh, unless, of course. Um, huh? uh, are you going to order another? No, 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 no. It's just the one for me. I'm cutting down. Ah. Well, it was nice chatting, Eddie. Oh, uh, Brian, uh, since you mentioned Alice, uh, how are things going with her and Chris? I'm sorry? It's just I've been seeing them round the village a fair amount. They were in the playground with Martha the other day. And? Oh, nothing. But, um, <clears throat> I heard things have got a bit tetchy, uh, <laughs> what with the divorce. Uh, uh, the Ambridge grapevine again. Oh, well, no, if they've managed to work things out, well, that's great. You're very kind. So, uh, things are going better between them, are they? Well, certainly a lot better than they were a few weeks ago. In fact, if you'd asked me then, the odds of them being where they are now, well, you wouldn't have put money on it. Huh? Is that right? Oh. No. You're having me on. I'm not, Clary, I swear. Jean Harvey and Derek Fletcher. But he's... I know. And she... <laughs> well... I heard it from Ian and he promised me it was true. They used to have a weekly rendezvous over at Loxton Grange. Oh, his poor wife. He lavishes more attention on his gnomes. Supposedly it ended years ago, but uh, I saw him clipping her edge the other day. You don't think... Well, who knows? That's why I'm wondering. What are you wondering, Susan? Well, it's like you said. We've got to find some way to persuade Jean to withdraw the article... I'm just thinking if, well, maybe somehow she were to get wind that just possibly her secret liaisons with Derek weren't quite as secret as she thought. You mean blackmail? Well, it's only what she's doing to Adam and Ian. In fact, setting out to slander them in the press, that's far worse. Well, maybe, but... but she wouldn't even know it was us. I wouldn't she? Well, we'd send an anonymous note. What? You mean with letters cut out from the newspaper? Could be. Oh, I feel so sordid. Think of it this way, though. We'd be doing it for the right reasons. Oh, I don't know. Where are you, love? I'm home. Oh, uh, in the kitchen, Eddie. Yes, so I've just been chatting to you in the ball. Oh, Susan. Oh, hi, Eddie. You're back again. I'm heading home soon. Hey, you might be onto something with all this nonsense about Jean and the pizza. Oh? Brian says Adam and Ian have had a reporter from the Echo over. You'd think I'd have better things to report on, wouldn't you? You most certainly would. OK, well, I'm going to put my feet up. All right, love. Night, Susan. <laughs> Night, Eddie. See? What did I tell you? She's out to destroy Adam and Ian's business. 
As if forgetting to pit an olive compares to what she's done. You're right. But blackmail, though. I told you, we need to fight fire with fire. Someone's got to take the moral high ground, Clary. What choice have we got? Tom, it is you. Oh, hi, Dad. Shouldn't you be at home with your girls? Oh, I just needed to check a couple of bridge fresh orders. I've noticed some last minute amendments. Why? <laughs> Don't you trust us to do it? Uh, no, no, of course I do. But it's easy to miss, and I was on the website anyway. Well, you know. Yeah. Did you see the announcement I posted? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I'll show you. People have really responded to it. I've had some lovely comments. Guess you can't go wrong with photos of babies. <laughs> no. Or cats. There you go. Oh, yes. Very nice. Who took the picture? Natasha's mum. She did a good job, but look. 38 replies now. Wow. Fingers crossed the goodwill turns into increased orders. Well, even if it doesn't, it's nice people care. I'm surprised you've got time to worry about the business. I don't know, well... Did you manage to get Nova to sleep after we left last night? Eventually, but then sad and woke us. That's the trouble. Neither of them sleep at the same time. I had this idea that since they're twins, they might sync up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Wishful thinking, right? Just a bit. Well, what I need is your special rock. I don't know how you do it. Seven just falls asleep in your arms. What can I say? It must be my granddad's superpower. I wish you'd teach me it. I'm doing my best. I'm sure you are. And at least you've got Caitlin there to help. Me and your mum were saying she's done us out of a job. She's taking such good care of you. It's not just you she's done out of a job. No, not that we mind, of course. No, it's no. great for Natasha. It's hard enough work having one baby to feed, but two. Yeah, no, and then yeah. trying to recover from the birth as well. Of course. She but... must really love having her mum around to look after her. Yeah. Yeah, she is. So, where are you on your way to? Oh, I was just off to clear out the grain store. The end of the week's looking good to bring in the winter barley. Uh, well, I could give you a hand if you like. I don't mind. Well, all right. Just so long as you're sure you don't need to get back home. Susan? Oh, good. You're here. Clarence? I've been calling you. Have you seen the echo? What are you on about? Didn't come out till Thursday. No, no, no. The website. Jean's article's on there already. He can't be. No, I'm telling you. Eddie were looking up dates for local car boot sales and he come across it. So it's too late then? No, no way. All her lies about Adam and Eve. No, you ain't listening. It's good news. The article's all about how Ian come to her rescue. What? I told you we didn't need to blackmail her. I, I, I don't understand. Hey, Grandma. George, what you doing here? Just helping Nana stock the shelves. Oh, he saw me struggling with the heavy boxes. Oh, I see. What do you mean, Ian came to a rescue? Well, that's what it says here. I got it on my phone. Pizza entrepreneur Ian Craig delivered a slice of life-saving help when he rushed to the aid of Ambridge resident Jean Harvey, 73. Oh, let me see. What's this? An article in the Echo. To be honest... It's a bit overblown. He only gave her the Heimlich manoeuvre. She says he's her hero. I know. And there we were, thinking it were her spreading the nasty rumours. Didn't you call her a vindictive old trope, Nana? Oh, shut up, George. You did. You were on at Mum about how you've never liked her since doing calendar Girl. Yes, Girls. yes, all right. How she'd stab anyone in the back just to get centre stage. Did you really, Susan? Look. You said she were doing the same thing to Adam and Ian. I know, but... You said she deserved a dose of her own medicine. Oh, thank you, George. Could you take the rest of the baked beans back to the stockroom? What? We don't need all of them out on display. But... Please. <sighs> all right. <sighs> Anything else you want bringing out? No, no. If you just make sure it's tidy in there. Sure. Look, come on, Susan. There ain't no need to feel bad. It's perfect publicity for Ian and Adam's pizza van. Clara, the thing is, Audrey came in earlier. She said she'd heard all the rumours and was going to bring the van up at the next parish council meeting. I just saw red. What did you do? I 
printed a note saying that if she didn't make the article go away, people would hear about her affair. <gasps> then I stuck it in the post box. Why? I didn't want anyone to spot me putting it through Jean's front door. And what? Is it still in the box? Yes. But it won't be there for long, though, Clara. The post's being collected any time now. Right, that should do it, yeah? Thanks, Tom. We're all ready for the winter barley. OK, so what now? Uh, what do you mean, what now? What else needs doing? Have the irrigation pipes been moved? Um, we need to keep the aphids off the leaks. I know that, Tom. And then there's the kale I planted out the other week. How's that looking? And the purple sprouting will be thirsty. Well, if it is, me or Adam or, or Johnny can do it. It's fine, it's not a big job. We can manage, for goodness sake. No one's expecting you to be here on the farm. No, I know, but it's hardly the best time of year to be taking time off. We've sorted out cover for you. Yeah, but still... Now listen... It's not like you ever had paternity leave, did you? Uh, no. That's just farming for you. I wish I had, though, and I'm pretty certain your mother does, too. <sighs> All right. Well... I really think you should be at home with your family. Natasha's I got don't a... want you missing out. She doesn't need Tom, me. honestly. The best place for me is out in the fields. What do you mean by that? I'm just... I'm just saying, at least on the farm, I can be useful. Not a spare part. You think you're a spare part? Well, that's what I feel like some of the time, yeah. I'm only asking, Susan. I just thought, since you're post office manager... They still don't give me a key. It's all right, all right. If they did, do you think I'd be standing around here? I'd have already opened the box and got it out. Yeah, I know that. I'm just surprised, that's all. Look, the only person who's allowed a key is the postie who does the collection. And that's Gordon? Yes. Well, can you call him, find out when he's going to turn up? I need to get home and make a start on lunch. You can't. I need you to tell him the letter's yours. Mine? Why? That letter ain't got nothing to do with me. Oh, yeah? What letter is that? No, nothing, George. What's going on? You two look kind of, uh, stressed. No, no, no. Your Nana Susan... No, I did something silly, She that's posted all. a letter... Yes. ...and it absolutely can't get to the person it's addressed all to. All right, all right. We don't need to go into the details of it. Why? What's in the letter? It makes no difference what's in it, because we're going to get it back. We're just waiting for the postman to unlock the box. But why do you need me to tell him it's mine? Look, Gordon is a bit of a stickler for rules... Technically, once you've posted something, it don't belong to you no more. Who does it belong to, then? Well, I'm not sure exactly. The point is, Gordon's not meant to give it back. So why is he going to give it to Grandma? Yes. Why is he going to give it to me? Oh, because I'll vouch for you. You give him a sob story. Say he'd written to a long-lost relative and you put the wrong address. No, Susan. Then I'll say I saw you post it. You give him a sob story. You say you wrote the wrong address. But I can't. I'm the post office manager. you think I'm unprofessional. Unprofessional? You got us into this mess. I know that, Clary. But we've got to get the letter out of there somehow. Can't we reach in... Use a fishing rod or something. Fishing rod? I'll be back in a bit. We'd like sticky tape on the end. Um, wh where are you going? Home. Won't be long. Or I'll get one of those litter picker things. Grab the litter. Well, does it need to bend? How's it going to fit through the slot? Oh, at least I'm trying. You come up with a better idea. There's no point in me trying to cook. Caitlin's got that covered. I see. Even the washing. I, I turned my back for five minutes and it's magically appeared on the line. The woman's on top of everything. Let's see where Natasha gets it from now. Sounds like it. And I don't want to sound ungrateful. No, of course. Caitlin's brilliant and it's great Natasha's got her mum, but I want to be there for her too. She's done such an amazing job, especially with the diabetes. And now that Nova and Serena are here... What? The moment I first saw them, Dad, I, I can't describe it. It was like a switch or something. The, the world just changed. Everything I do now is for those little girls. I oh, know. I'm sorry. 
What are you sorry for? It's why you're going to be a fantastic dad. <gasps> of course you are. It's still early days. Yeah, yeah, I'm just feeling a bit excluded, that's all. And don't forget, you're shattered too. How much sleep have you had? No, not much. Exactly. Plus, there was all the anxiety before the birth. I, I know how worried you were, especially after what you went through with Kirsty. Sure. You're bound to be all over the place. It doesn't mean you're useless or a spare part. No, if you say so. I do. You've got two beautiful, healthy little girls. Just give yourself a bit of time. You'll find your feet. I guess. You know, the only thing any parent really wants is for their children to be happy. Well, I don't need to tell you. No. Not now. And I look at you and how far you've come, and it, it makes me very proud. Well done, son. You're going to be fine. Okay. Well, thanks, Dad. Although there is still one thing you could help me with. Oh, yeah, what's that? How do you do that special rock? <laughs> Why have you tied that pencil sharpener on at the end? Well, the string needs some weight on it. How else is it going to reach the bottom of the post box? Oh, all right, all right. And then I'll wrap it all in this double-sided tape. Oh, just hurry up. Gordon could be here in a minute. Mm. Going as fast as I can. Stop looking out the window. <sighs> it ain't going to make him come any slower. What do we do if we can't get the letter back? I mean, Jean's going to wonder who sent it. What if she suspects one of the others at the W.I.? Like who? There's still some who don't want Ian's pizzas at the fete. This could spark all the late war. Mm, where are you? What is it? The end of this tape. I can't find it. Oh, give it to you, let me. This had better work. Wait. Hang on. Oh, no. Is it Gordon? No. It's the post box. There's smoke coming out of it. What? Oh, my God. Quick, carry. Out of the way. Oh. oh. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I need the extinguisher. Oh. The post box is on fire. Oh, damn it. Tash. Oh, oh, it's all right, ma'am. What's happening? What's, what's the matter? Oh, I just stood on the baby monitor. Go back to sleep. The baby monitor? Yeah. What time is it? Sorry, what's going on? It's 6.30. Already? I'm sorry. I just snuck in to check for dirty laundry. I thought I'd put a wash on. Where are the twins? Sarah's asleep and Tom's gotten over. In fact, I might even take the opportunity to cook myself some breakfast. Imagine that. No, no, no. Ah, it's fine. You stay in bed. Bed is exactly where you should be. How many times you need to sleep when you get the chance? I'm not that tired. How many wake-ups have you had? Um, Nova wanted feeding around two and Sarah started screaming her head off at four. Well, why didn't I hear anything? I had the monitor on. Yes, but we turned it off upstairs. Tash! You don't want to eavesdrop on Tom and me. Anyway, you need your sleep too. What is the point of me being here if you won't let me help? I do let you. You're not going to recover any faster if you ignore everyone's advice. Oh, Ma'am! Right, let me put the sofa bed away oh. and then I'll start on breakfast. Honestly, I'll do it. I rather fancied an omelette. Well, I can make that for you. What kind of omelette would you like? Spinach? No, thanks. I'm not a spinach fan. Well, I know that. I've spent half my life trying to feed you vegetables. That's not true. Difference is, you need to get your nutrition. I know, but I've I never... promise. I'll make it so you won't even notice it's in there. <sighs> as soon as this is folded away, you'll be able to sit down. I don't want to sit on the sofa. I want to cook breakfast. I want to do the laundry. Who wants to do laundry? You're not supposed to be doing housework anyway. I can do a bit. Natasha, sorry. I think Nova needs a feed. Already? Yeah, she's sucking her fists. What did I tell you? It never stops. It's why you've got to learn to look after yourself. Right, love, you make yourself comfy. Tom, would you like a spinach omelette? George Edward Grundy, stop, right there. Sorry, Grandma, got to go. Uh, 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 I'm eating Tilly on the green. You ain't going nowhere. 
Not until you've explained this. It's a can of lighter fluid. I know it's a can of lighter fluid. What I want to know is what were it doing in your hoodie? You went through my pockets? Well, yes. Grandma, that's outrageous. Don't take that tone with me, young man. Not when Sergeant Burns is on the hunt for the person what set fire to the post box. Aped with it. What are you doing with lighter fluid? And why is the can almost empty? I was using it to degrease my bike chain. Your bike? The gears have been jumping, so I gave the whole lot a clean. Happy now? Uh, Great. Well, Catch you later. Hang on. Wait. So you're saying you definitely had nothing to do with the fire? I told you that yesterday. Yeah, I know what you told me. I wouldn't be that stupid. I was going to pick the lock. You don't know how to pick locks. Yes, I do. It's easy. You just need a small screwdriver and one of Kira's air grips. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll show you if you like. No, George, thank you. It ain't my fault the post box went up in flames before I could open it. Either way, you and Gran got what you wanted. No more letter. And what about all the other letters that were in there? It weren't just Jean's. Jean Harvey? Uh, I thought so. How come you didn't want her to get it? That's none of your business. The point is, setting fire to Her Majesty's post. It's a serious criminal offence. And if you're in any way responsible... I ain't. You promise? On my life, Grandma. I ain't fibbing. All right. Well, in that case, it must just be a very strange coincidence. Yeah. Yes, it must. See ya. <coughs> oh, Selen's got the hang of breastfeeding, hasn't she? Yeah. Although I'm not sure what she's feeding on. All I've done so far this morning is breastfeed. Oh, I know. I'm amazed I have any milk left. Well, you're doing a brilliant job. <laughs> It's not like anyone's expecting you to do anything else. I'm here, I'm not going to the farm, and your mum, well... She's got everything organised. I can see why you wanted her around. Can you now? Why? Is something wrong? Natasha? Um, How are you getting on, love? Burped her yet? No, Mum, she hasn't finished feeding. OK, well, when she has, remember to sit her up... I know. ..for at least 15 minutes, yeah. all right? Yes, Mum, all right. Yeah, I'm afraid you've got a gusty one there. <laughs> Wonderful. Great. Oh, she's not annoying you, is she? Didn't you hear her? She doesn't trust me to do anything. It's like she's there, in my head. Oh, I see. I think, oh, I need to take my painkillers, and there she is with them in her hand. I fancy making a cup of tea, and one immediately appears next to me. Right. And then because she's always one step ahead, she's, she thinks I'm incapable. Doesn't she know? I, I'm an adult. I run my own business. I can do things for myself. Well, I suppose she just thinks she's helping. Oh, I know. And it comes from a good place. Of course it does. But this stuff I've really been looking forward to. Like yesterday, when she gave them a bath. Well, what about it? I wanted to do that, but she persuaded me to take a nap, and when I woke up, she was already wrapping them in their towels. Oh, I didn't realise. I thought you were happy letting her manage everything. Manage? <laughs> if only. It feels like control. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't be so mean. You're right, Tom, she is incredible. No, no. And I do love having her here. She's a mam in a million. It means the world. Yeah, sure. But if but... she calls me Tash one more time, though, she knows I hate her. It's like I'm being ten years old again. Could you talk to her, maybe? No, no. Explain how you're feeling. How can I look at everything she's doing? No, of course not, but... Anyway, it wouldn't make any difference. She doesn't listen, never has. It still might be worth a try, though. Right, it's been four hours. Shh, shh, shh. Time for your painkillers, love. If you're that upset. I'm just being touchy, really, it's fine. Tash? Oh. Did you hear me? I brought you your pills. Oh, fantastic. Diolch, ma. Uh. Coincidence? You're not really buying that, are you? I know it's hard to believe, Susan. Oh, it's more than hard. But George swore on his life he had nothing to do with it. He were very convincing. Oh, 
You know Harrison wants me to give him a witness statement. No, I know. He's probably going to want one from you too. Well, that's OK, isn't it? The truth is we didn't actually see anything. We just tell him the first we noticed was when smoke started pouring out the box. It's the police, though. What if he starts asking awkward questions? Susan. Me of all people, Clary. I can't lie. What would you rather? Explain you were planning to blackmail Jean? No. Because that's what'll happen. If you let slip about the letter, it's all going to come out. Everything about her and Derek and how you were going to expose oh, them. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know. Destroying people's post is illegal. But so is sending threatening letters. Oh, all right. You don't have to go on. I'm just saying. It won't just be George you're landing in trouble. Oh. Look, whatever happened, George were only trying to help us. He's normally such a good lad. Surely we owe him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe. Doubt's one thing, though. Then there's turning a blind eye. Susan. Oh, hold on. Oh, Harrison. He's coming over now to take my statement. Caitlin. Oh, hi, Tom. It's amazing how much they get through, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Washing. At this rate, you might need to invest in a longer line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, possibly. Look, I, I just need to have a quick word. Oh, yeah? Uh, first of all, I want to say we are so grateful for everything you're doing. It's wonderful having you here to help. Oh, thank you, Tom. I'm loving being here too. Yeah, uh, Natasha, though, I think she's keen to do more stuff for herself. Uh, bathing the girls, for instance. Yeah, I know! I don't know what she was thinking. She can't be doing that while she's still healing. Ah, well... Th yeah, it's why I said she should go to bed. The hospital did say she should try and move around. Yes, move around. Not get down on her hands and knees leaning over a baby bath. Well, anyway, she's getting a bit frustrated. Uh, maybe if you could, I don't know, try to accommodate her. Yeah, don't you worry. I know how to handle Tash. I'll do my best to jolly her along. Yeah, and that's the other thing. If you could stop calling her Tash, she's not keen. Oh, now, Tom! Honestly, she really doesn't like it. Well, when other people call her it, maybe, but I'm her mum. It's what I've always called her. When she was a child? Exactly. It's different. <sighs> Just you wait. When Sarah and Nova are grown, you'll see there's a special bond between mothers and daughters. We can say things to each other no one else would be allowed. I do understand your concerns, though. You do? Yeah, of course. We both know Tash can be headstrong, always think she knows best. I wouldn't say that. Well, no, you wouldn't. She's your wife. Doesn't mean it's not true, though, does it? Right, thanks for talking to me, Tom. Between the two of us, we keep her on the straight and narrow. George, what are you doing here? I can pop in to see my favourite Nana, can't I? Is that what you're up to? Was that Harrison I just saw leaving? Has he got any leads about the post box? Oh, don't you dare. What? I'm just curious. No, he hasn't got any leads. Oh, you have no idea how excruciating that was. Having to look Harrison in the eye and pretend like I had no clue who did it. No one else seems to have a clue. Just like no one will ever know what was in Jean Harvey's letter. What did you say? Hmm? How did you know the letter was for Jean? You know what our family's like. Nothing stays secret for long. Like yesterday when Grandma were talking about that article in the Echo. You didn't seem that happy. So? So I was just a bit surprised. I mean, you ain't stopped going on about how Jean's out to wreck Adam and Ian's new business. And then, when I heard something about blackmail... Blackmail? That's right. When I were at the back. That was a private conversation. Don't worry. It ain't like I knew what you were talking about. At least, not until I found out the letter for Jean Ivy. Right. That's enough. You've got no evidence. What would I blackmail her with anyway? How about the fact her and Derek used to be at it like rabbits? George! <laughs> Sorry, Nana. I heard you blabbing about it to Grandma in the now, shop. Now, George, just you listen. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. But you're right. There ain't no evidence. Not now the letter's burnt. No. Exactly. Then again, 
Ain't no evidence it were me that torched the postbox either. It'll just have to remain one big mystery, won't it, Nana? You sure you don't mind? If it's a bad time... No, no. Well, Martha's on a play date with Xander, and well, I saw you outside the flat. Honestly, Alice, it's fine. And we need to talk about the christening. My next appointment until two. Oh, all right, then. What can I get you? A lemonade, please. Don't want something to eat? No, no. I could stretch to a sorony. Oh, thanks, but I ate at Ian's. Ah. Hey, did you see today's echo? It's all about how he stopped Gene Harvey choking to death. Yeah, I heard. Looks like his pizzas are going to be welcome at the fete after all. Hi, guys. What'll it be? Hey, Toby. Could I get two lemonades? Yeah, ice and lemon? Please. Uh, yeah, yeah, in both. Shall I go grab a table outside? Uh, sure. I'll come find you. Yeah, okay. And a ham and cheese baguette. Yeah, no problem. Oh, you know, you might be able to help me out. Oh, yeah? What with? Um, any idea who torched the pillar box? It's all anyone's talking about. Not a clue. Why? Did you think I might have some inside information? <laughs> Your mum does run the post office. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't know either. Yeah, in fact, she's weirdly chill about it. I saw her earlier and she just kept saying it would have to remain a mystery. Really? Yeah, I thought she'd be kicking down doors. Yeah. Well, you know Kenton lost his driving licence. No... Yeah, he was already fuming about getting a speeding endorsement, but now he's got to explain it got burnt in the post. It's a nightmare. <laughs> All right, fellas. Oh, hey, Eddie. And, and Joy Horville, she'd sent her granddaughter 30 quid for a birthday. Oh, uh, is this uh, the pillar box? Yeah. It's such a mindless thing to do. Probably some dumb teens with too much time on their hands. Oh, I guess it'll just have to remain a mystery. Yeah. That's what my mum said. Is it? Well, that'll be 11.20, please, Chris. I'll bring the baguette out to you. Oh. Sure, thanks, Toby. Uh, uh, did I see you coming here with Alice? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're just grabbing a quick drink before I have to get back to it. Receipt? Uh, no, you're all right. I better not keep her waiting. I'll see you, Eddie. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> and you said there ain't anything going on between them two. No, I didn't. I said you shouldn't be running a sweepstake on them getting back together. Oh, come on. It's a nice thing wanting them to be a couple again. There's already 60 quid in the pot. How much? Exactly. That's got to be worth a flutter. <laughs> now you can bet on them officially reuniting any time in the next year. Eddie. Most no. people are plumping for around the three, four month mark. I'm not biting. Why not? Brian told me himself they're rubbing along really well. Uh -huh. And now look at them. Meeting up at lunchtime for a quiet, cosy little drink. So, that doesn't mean anything? No. No, and certainly not that they're getting back together. Want a bet? I ain't done nothing. The screen's frozen. Have you tried pressing cancel? What do you think? I'm not an idiot, Brad. Don't have a go at me. I'm only trying to help. Well, don't. I know how to work the till. If it's useful, Chelsea, I can probably pay with cash. What difference is that going to make? I've still got to put it through. I realise, but... Uh... Was it just the coffees, Oliver? Uh, no. Uh, don't talk to him. Go clear tables like I asked. Excuse me. That's really rude. What's the matter? Hey, work, you stupid thing! Hey, 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 what's going on? The till's packed up. You press it, but nothing happens. Let me see. I'm sorry about this, Oliver. Oh, that's all right, pretty. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> bear with us, everyone. Technical difficulties. Um... What were you doing before it froze? Don't blame me. It ain't my fault. No, I'm not saying it was, but we need to get this queue moving. Mm. Maybe if I use my fob. So you were having food as well? I was, yes. See, it's knackered. I wanted quiche and Ardil's having a salmon bagel. I reckon just pull the plug. No, Chelsea, don't! Ugh. What did you do that for? Then that'll be 22.85. The card reader's still working, innit? Sorry, what? The reader. Didn't you hear me, Brad? Go clear tables. Chelsea, enough. Brad, what do you mean? Well, if it is, I can just do the sums in my head. What, really? Then I'll write the orders down for the kitchen. Brilliant. Let's do that. Card then? Wait, wait, wait. Hang Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Brad, you do the honours. But I'm on the counter. Not anymore, you ain't. Hey! Chelsea, <laughs> go make yourself busy somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, Charles. Thanks, Brad. Why don't you clean tables instead? Honestly, Chris, I think that's a lovely idea. You do? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our first attempt at St. Stephen's didn't exactly go to plan. No. Yeah, so let's try something different. A naming ceremony on Lakey Hill sounds perfect. It's not too much like something Kate would do, then. Are you kidding me? 
Kate would hold it in a stone circle with Martha on a rock in the centre. One of her mates chanting, dressed up as a druid. <laughs> she would! No, no, you're right. This is totally standard in comparison. OK, good. Although, having said that, I would still quite like Alan to give a blessing, if that's all right with you, of course. Uh, sure. What? No, no, I, I'm just thinking that there is someone else it might be nice to ask. Oh? Aye, aye, what's going on here, then? Eddie. I'm not interrupting, am I? I saw you laughing. Uh... No, no. Honestly, you can tell me to push off. I don't want to spoil a special moment. It's not a special moment. Well, I don't know, Chris. It is our anniversary. What? July 28th. That's the day. <laughs> oh, oh, someone's in trouble. I'm so sorry, I hadn't realised. It's fine. What? You ain't mad? Why would I be? It's not like we're celebrating. In fact, you know what we ought to do, Chris? What's that? Hold a party like Steph Casey's. What does she call it? Oh, uh, suddenly single. That's it. We'd have both our families there. Well, on either side of the dance floor, I presume. Not necessarily. We could have party games, try to bring both sides together. Uh, like Twister? Yes! Or, or pass the balloon. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine your dad and mine trying to grapple a balloon from between each other's legs? That would be something. <laughs> you ain't serious, are you? You ain't really going to have a party. <laughs> no, Eddie. Of course not. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Well, uh, I'll leave you pair to it. <laughs> All right. Although, you know, if we did, it probably wouldn't be any worse than Steph's. I heard it was a complete disaster. Now there's a surprise. <laughs> Who wants to celebrate getting divorced? I am sorry I didn't realise it was our anniversary, though. Chris, honestly. No, it's important. Whatever's happened since... Us getting married, and the way we did it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Just strolling into a chapel in Vegas. We must have been crazy. <laughs> it was fun, though. Oh, it was mad. <laughs> and I'll never regret it. Never, ever. Chris, um, I found a photo the other day. It was under the sideboard. It was one of the ones I ripped up. Oh, all right. It's of the two of us uh, on the strip. A corner's missing, but other than that, you can have it if you like. Huh. Uh, or not. I don't mind. Uh, no, no. Is the missing corner a piece of night sky with uh, neon signs? Uh, how do you know that? Because it's here, in my wallet. I came across it when I was moving out the nest. Chris. <laughs> Maybe we should do a swap. No. Uh, no, I I've got a better idea. Let's stick both pieces together and put it in Martha's baby book. If anyone should have it now, it ought to be her. Sorry about the wait. Enjoy your lunch. Well done, Brad. I can't believe how quickly you got through that queue. Thanks. How do you do that? Even with a calculator, I can't add up that fast. I don't know. It's just a, something I've always been able to do. Oh, oh hey, Ch Chelsea. What? Why didn't you tell me your brother had a computer for a brain? Is that what's wrong with him? Hey, 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 <laughs> come on. He should be on countdown or something. He'd clean up on the numbers round. Wow. Imagine. Look, it ain't that big a deal. People are good at different things. I mean, Chelsea. What about me? Well, you're good at fashion stuff. Fashion stuff? You know, hair and makeup and things. Yeah, but you don't need to be a Mensa member to use eyeliner. What? What you just did, that's like super smart. There's definitely a bonus coming your way. A bonus? Are you taking the mix? Oh, look, look, look. The till's finally rebooted. Huh? Fingers crossed the touch screen's working. Yes! Oh, emergency over. See, I told you. Well, thanks again, Brad. You really got us out of a hole. But, wait, hang on. Uh, I... Chelsea, don't just leave those dirty plates there. Okay. All right, but... <sighs> don't know why you're looking so smug, Mr Clever Clogs. Weren't you who thought of turning it off and on again? No, I know. Now shift. Hmm? This is my tell. But, oh, go on. Those plates ain't going to clean themselves. Oh, I can't make head nor tail of it. First she don't care about him forgetting their anniversary, and then they start joking about having a suddenly single party. Go oh, honestly, you youngsters. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's like you and Pip. You've got Rosie. You live in the same house. For the moment. Anyone else would think you're a family. But no, you're... Living under the same roof. Oh, thank heavens I didn't run a book on the two of you. Yeah, thank heavens. As for this one on Chris and Alice, 
Well, I mean, laughing and joking together is still a good sign, I suppose. Oh, Eddie, Eddie. Look, you sure you don't want to place a stake? No, n- no. You can no, bet no. on Chris and Alice not getting back together within the next year if you like. I'll take that bet. <laughs> Chris! In fact, I'd put money on it never happening. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to... <laughs> Eddie... It's fine. I did tell him it was a bad idea. Yeah, I, I was only having a bit of fun. I know, and I'm sorry to disappoint you, but me and Alice, we're only ever going to be friends. And what was all that about outside? The pair of you seem so... Happy? Yeah. We are. To be honest with you, after all we've been through, I haven't felt this good in years. Can I take this plate as well? Uh, I th- oh, yes, I think so. Uh, Ardell's just had to step out. Uh, I can come back? No, no, no. Uh, I'm sure he's finished. It was a surprise seeing you behind the counter. I hadn't realised you were working here as well as Chelsea. I imagine your mother's, please. How is she? Did she open my birthday card? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, not your concern. I expect she threw it straight in the bin. No, it's on the shelf of all the others. Really? Well, that's something, I suppose. Brad, you can take your break now, if you like. Oh, OK. Uh, right. Well, um, please, uh, don't stop on my account. Thanks. And how are you, Freddy? The Orange is busy today. Why? Scoping out the competition, are we? <laughs> no, of course not. It's just a good place to have a working lunch. In fact, I sent your mother an invitation to our big launch event on Monday. Yeah. You know, it's in the village hall now. We want to include everyone and make sure it's at the heart of the community. I heard. I'd love it if you'd come, give your reaction. As Ardu would say, I'm certain there are synergies to be nurtured between Grey Gables and Lower Loxley. Yeah, all right. We'll see what I can do. Splendid. And well done for taking on Brad. You know how much I like to see youngsters being given a chance. To be honest, I'm not sure he needs one. Not here, anyway. You saw the way he added up your bill. Yes, I know. He's good with numbers. Good? He did the same with the next 15 customers. With a brain like that, he should be doing work experience with a big city firm of accountants or something. Really? You think so? I'm telling you, Oliver, I thought my sister was smart. But Brad Horobin? He's a genius. Mum, please, just give her here before she starts selling off. No, Tash, you need to change your dressing. Do you want an infection? Of course I don't. I'll do it in a minute. You've been saying that all day. I'll change Nova's nappy. (sighs) And then you can enjoy a nice chat with Kirsty. Actually, I might go. I've called it a bad time. No, No. stay right there. It'll only take her five minutes, won't it, Tash? Go on. Fine. Sorry, Kirsty. I shan't be long. Don't worry. You do what you need to. Ah, oh, oh. honestly, what's your mummy like? She doesn't know what's good for her, does she? You wouldn't be a love and hold open a nappy sack for me. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. No, fa- oh, no wonder you were crying. Let's get this off you, eh? I guess you all must be tired. Beautiful though the babies are. Knackered, more like. I try to tell Tash to get her rest when she can. She doesn't listen to me. Still, tempers are bound to fray. Tempers? Yeah, I mean, you're going to get irritable. What? Oh, no, no. No, that's just how we are. We're always clashing heads. Oh, really? Yeah, ever since she was a little girl. Now, i got to tell you, Tash would have been five or six determined little Dutch she was and it had been raining so I said to her you've got to wear your wellies well she screamed blue murder refused point blank so I let her go out in her shoes and sure enough a minute later her feet are soaking wet would she admit her mam was right all along not a bit of it she just carried on stomping through the puddles maybe she didn't mind having wet feet oh you reckon (laughs) No, no, I don't either, Nova. Then again, it's that determination that's got to where she is now. I guess I must have done something right, eh? She certainly doesn't get her business brains from me. I'm sure you did plenty right. I hope so. 
I just want to be sure when I head home she'll be able to manage on her own. That's better. Lovely and clean. Now for a nice, fresh nap. Um, have you said that to Natasha? Hmm? What? Get my head bitten off. Yeah, but if you're arguing... Well, that's not going to change. And you're right. It doesn't help. We're all tired. I haven't even got a proper bed to sleep on. The other room's got the cots in. Oh, yeah, of course. And the sofa bed's not doing Grandma's back any good, is it? No, I bet. There. There. All done. Would you like a little hold? Oh, can I? Of course you can. She's in a much better mood now. Uh, hello, little one. Are you happier? Oh, she's gorgeous. Aren't you gorgeous? Yeah, they both are. To be honest, I reckon Tom's parents have got the right idea. What's that? Enjoy spending time with these precious bundles and then run home. Having fun? Billy! You do know Freddy's gig doesn't start for another three hours. Just getting myself in the mood. I've been over his playlist and it's going to be Da Bomb. I'm sorry, the what? Da Bomb. Wall to wall 90s bangers. Oh, please, enough already. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Oh. Can I get you a drink? There's an open bottle of Pinot in the fridge. Oh, that would be lovely. Dinner will be ready in about half an hour. Oh, Freddie was telling me about Chelsea's brother. You know he's working in the orangery? Yes, you said. Quite a shy young man. You'd never guess they were related. Now, according to Freddie, though, he's a total maths whiz. Can do sums in his head just like that. Just goes to show you how completely different siblings can be. I reckon she fancies you. Who? Chelsea? I spotted her looking at you last week. Oh, that's ridiculous. Last time I spoke to her, she barely gave me the time of day. What were you talking to her about? The rave, 90s music. Oh my God, you're obsessed. <laughs> what? Took me back to my student days. You'll understand when you've finished uni. Mm, depends how it turns out. I think I'm going to have a shower. What do you mean it depends? Oh, nothing. No, come on, tell me. You worried about starting at Felpersham? Oh, it just feels a bit weird, that's all closer it gets. The thought of doing Freshers' Week again. I mean, I'm going to be like three or four years older than most people. So? So none of them will be starting over. They're not dropouts. What are you talking about? You're not a dropout. Oh, because I did so well at Manchester. Well, but th that wasn't your fault. We are in that horrid flat mass from the university. Plus, you had a brother in jail. No, I know. And a, a mum who was having a breakdown. I know. It'll be completely different. OK. I'm just anxious about getting the most out of it this time. Lily. Mind you, don't burn the onions. I'm going to go and have that shower. Does the mother of your children know where you are? Kirsty. I should have guessed I'd find you here. Oh, don't you start as well. I said I'd help bring in the winter barley. I'm teasing. Oh, sorry. I've just come from your place, actually. Congratulations, Tom. They're absolutely perfect. What? You've seen them? Oh, yeah. Nova had a good suckle on my finger and Saren did a tiny bit of sick down my front. Ah, sorry. Don't be daft. I'm just so happy for you. Really. Did you see we've been using your blankets? Yeah, yeah, I did. I hope it doesn't feel strange. Oh, not at all. It's nice seeing them wrapped up in them. Good. I just thought if anyone should have them. Ah, well, thanks. Well, anyway, I mustn't hold you up. I'm here to find Helen. Oh, right. Yeah, we're going to this 90s night at the Blue Boar, the one Freddie's DJing. Oh, OK. Sorry, I'm completely out of the loop. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, enjoy yourself, though. I'll be spending my evening being told what not to do by my mother-in-law. <laughs> Actually, Tom... Yeah? Look, I, I know I shouldn't stick my nose in. Why? What is it? When I was at yours, the two of them were button heads. Oh, uh, Caitlin's been driving Natasha up the wall. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Oh, what was she doing? Insisting on being in control of everything? I tried to have a word, but she just doesn't listen. Well, that's funny, because she said something similar. Oh? In fact, I think she's feeling a bit put upon. Oh, why? What did she say? Are you sure? Because that's really very kind. Oh, yeah, well, it does sound lovely. <laughs> I'll I, see you in a bit. Uh -huh. OK, thank you, Pat. Thank you, bye. I'm on, I'm on. 
Oh, she's not coming over now, is she? Listen, love. Well, it would be nice if you asked me first. Pat's not coming over. I'm going there. What? Now, Tash, I know how much you want me around and I can see you still need lots of help with things. What are you on about? But Pat and Tony have offered me a bed at their place and I've decided to take it. Oh, it's not like I'm disappearing or anything. I'll be around every day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I'm not going to lie. If my back doesn't give out first, something else will. You're not the easiest person to live with. I'm sorry. You've got to get yourself into a routine, start doing more things for yourself. Are you being serious? I would love to have my own routine, but whatever I do is always wrong. Tash. Everything has to be done your way. Oh, well, see, this is what I mean. Eat when I tell you. Take your pills when I tell you. Well, only because you'd never do it otherwise. How do you know? At least it would be up to me. Which is why I think it's better if I stay somewhere else. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, yeah, I do. Without me around as much, you might start to learn. Maybe I will. So you agree, then? I should stay with Pat and Tony? Uh, yes. If that's what you want. So they're doing OK, are they? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's pretty full on. Oh, I know. I've heard all the stories from when me and Freddie were born. Oh, of course. I don't think Mum slept for the first couple of years. <laughs> no, well, I'm sure things will get easier. And Sarah and Nova are just gorgeous. I mean, that's got to make it all worthwhile. If you say so. I know where I'd rather be. <laughs> hey, coming through. Hi, Kirsty. Well, hi, Russ. Sorry, I, I would have got you a drink. Oh, don't worry. I need to get back to Helen before she squashes someone's foot po going. Oh, so you're enjoying it, then? <laughs> oh, yeah. Freddie really knows his stuff. It's like every best song from my teens. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Maybe we'll catch you on the dance floor. Yes, very possibly. Well... That's nice to hear. This is one of the songs I suggested. <laughs> All right, Mr. Britpop. It means you and Freddie have finally found something in common. You can go and join them if you like. Uh, no, no. I don't mind. Uh, actually, I want to talk to you about something. It's to do with what you said about starting uni again. Oh, Ross, I told no, I know, you. I know, but I've been thinking about it. I'm allowed to feel apprehensive. Oh, no, of course. And I'm only too aware that you didn't get the experience you deserved in Manchester. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, which is why I'm suggesting we move to Felkish. I'm sorry, what? Let's move to Felkish. We could rent somewhere near campus, or, or, or maybe even buy a place. But, but, but what about the gallery? What about Lower Loxley? I'll commute. And you, you'll be able to be a proper part of things. Joining societies, go, going out with new friends. And, and even when you do have to get your head down and study, I'll be at home ready to ply you with coffee and shoulder massages. How does that sound? Uh... Apart from anything else, wouldn't it just be nice to have a place of our own? Of course, if you'd rather not. No, Russ, no. It's just an idea. It's a wonderful one. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. That's why I said it. Come here. <laughs> Mind the drinks. Oh, I love you so much. So is that a yes then? Absolutely, it's a yes. <gasps> when can we start flat hunting? Let's get looking ASAP. Hey, what's all this? They're not both sleeping, are they? Amazing, isn't it? I didn't dare put either of them down. Seems rocking one in each arm does the trick. Very impressive. Still, now you're here, it might be my opportunity to have a shower. No, 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 don't move. Oh, I need to, I'm in a state. I didn't look in the mirror. Oh, trust me, you look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, right. You do. You and the girls, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, let's have ten minutes. Just the four of us. Come on, pass set in every... Got her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, you. Time to practice Daddy's special rock. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've cracked it. <laughs> Wonder how my mum's getting on at your parents. Probably enjoying the peace and quiet, just like we are. <laughs> yeah, probably. Did you ask Pat and Tony to invite her to stay? Would that be a problem? No. I mean, I do like having her around. I know. But you can have too much of a good thing. Thank you, Tom. This is just what I need. <laughs> 